Today uh, we have uh, Polaris for the Radio Shack Color Computer, a missile command clone, only you have uh, missile subs uh, protecting islands instead of a missile base protecting cities. This was one of the first two games that I got for the Color Computer along with uh, Space Assault, the uh, Space Invaders clone. I mentioned in the Space Assault that I enjoyed playing it with the analog controller, but this is a uh, game that really cries out for the analog controller. Uh, probably the best way to play it is the way it was in the arcade with a trackball that gives you uh, precise control, but also gives you the ability to move very quickly across the screen. Well, with if you're not going to have a trackball, uh, then an analog joystick works pretty darn good. Uh, certainly way better than playing this on something like the Atari 2600 with Missile Command uh, that had uh, a regular digital joystick and uh, you had to pretty much react ahead of time. With this, you can quickly get to where you want to on the screen, and it definitely makes this game a lot more playable. Uh, the other thing that's nice about it is that they have three bases, and rather than use the fire button on the joystick, they use three keys on the keyboard so you can control which base you uh, launch a missile from, which very much adds to the playability of this game. Played this a great deal. I Prior to getting this game, I have, wasn't real familiar with uh, Missile Command. I played it some, but not a lot. Uh, but, of course, part of it was that this was one of only two games that I had to begin with, so I naturally played it a lot. But even when I got other games to play, I still played it a great deal. This is, this is a very fun uh, clone of Missile Command. I uh, very much enjoyed playing it back in the day. I'm very much enjoying playing it now, and I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough.